Welcome to another Nonsense Wars production. Today's video showcases my entry to the Great Ball Pit 2020 challenge in which contestants have to build a module that outputs batches of 13 balls. While the contest does allow for programmable bricks, I did not want to use one and I decided early on to make the batches using a weighted seesaw since I had an idea for a synergistic lifting mechanism. I touched on the idea in my wave stepper video. If you have a seesaw with an asymmetric travel or pivot, you can actually raise balls even if not by a large amount. In the final design, each 24 stud ramp lifts about two bricks and three of them lift barely enough for the final ramp, the weighted seesaw, to unload at the standard output height. Of course, I had to iterate through many, many ramp geometries to arrive here. While achieving a configuration that worked was not difficult, achieving a configuration that worked at or even close to the one ball per second spec speed was difficult. If the ramps don't have enough asymmetry in their pivot or travel, balls don't get enough lift. But if the ramps have too much asymmetry, the balls may not reach the end of said ramps if they pivot fast enough. To further complicate things, the module can't only work at full speed, it needs to work at lower speeds mostly to account for stopping and starting. I don't believe the official specification addresses stopping and starting, but my Vertical Stepper V2 had a lot of problems with this, uh, more in a future video, so I wanted to explicitly consider stops in a potentially speed-dependent module. In the end, I fixed a lot of problems simply by reducing the lift to the previously stated two bricks per ramp. This complex link system ensures that all the ramps tilt the same amount since the main rocker is a different distance from each one. I tried to reduce slop here by minimizing the number of standard gray pins, but it still had a lot which could adversely affect the performance. Still, the entire lift mechanism seems to handle official balls pretty reliably, but it's sensitive enough such that it may not properly handle uh, third-party balls with even slightly different weights or sizes. At this point, the fourth and final ramp, the weighted seesaw, is as much a barrier to running the module faster as the lift itself. It takes almost a full second to empty, and the 14th ball already almost interferes with the unloading of the previous 13. The input bin agitates and feeds balls using a row of steppers. It is built very similarly to the stepped inputs in many of my other modules, but generally outputs more consistently and reliably due to the larger number of steps. Finally, the drivetrain uses an M motor with a net gear ratio of 3 to 25, running the main crank at just about 60 RPM when driven off the train regulator. Due to the speed sensitivity of the module, I explicitly tested with the regulator, which has a slightly higher max output than the batteries. One last thing I don't like about this module, though this probably applies to anything built for this challenge, is that it doesn't self-unload. You can't keep running the module to empty your loop unless you have some multiple of 13 balls left. Otherwise, you have to unload the fourth ramp manually. On that note, 
this is the end of the video, so have a nice day.